Well, nothing there. Like to see if there's shreds or anything. Don't get all bent up. Every flat six that you start, all being burnt. Even a Porsche, every. Clean it before you stick it in. Like that's what she said. <laughs> for the last two days. Last two days, are you kidding me? The whole week it's been raining. I gotta get things done. It seeped in and the garage, everything is covered with water. I have to get my bike ready for the saddle sore. I'm going in two days. Weather permitting, Sunday looks like it's gonna be a good day. I have to do my oil changes. Getting the, the gold wing ready for the saddle sore. The bike was well maintained by the previous owner, but you know, I got it. I want a clean sheet. Gonna go through all the, you know, essentials. Oil change, my first one. Then I'm gonna check the brake pads and I'm gonna tinker around with the wheels and tires. So this video, oil change. I don't know how I'm gonna get under the bike. This is what this one is all about. <laughs> Literally, the, the rain hasn't stopped for the last seven days. I was off the bike for a week. You just can't do anything for the whole week. Now I'm going to take the bike out. I'll pull it out and do my first oil change on the bike. Oh, yeah. A big announcement. I split up my channel. And from now on, I will not have any aviation airplane stuff on this channel. Just like a five second maybe clip I would show. But I do have another channel, YouTube channel setting up. That's going to be dealing mainly and mostly about uh, me being a, a airline pilot my flights, experiences, travels, aviation, simulators, everything. So if you're interested and in, into my life as a pilot or being a pilot, aviation, anything, airplanes, Boeing, check out, uh, this is the this is the, the cloud chaser, I called it. I thought it's an appropriate name. Do me a favor, head over to there, subscribe, help me out over there to build that channel so I can grow that channel as well. Anything that burns gas and moves forward, you guys love. But a lot of people were coming here just to see, you know, things specific about bikes. And they could not care less about me uh, flying at a sunrise or a sunset. So if you're interested with those things and, you know, just like go go there, go there after this video, go to that uh, that channel, subscribe, like, share, whatever you want to do with it. Build up that channel. Yeah. Check it out. Let's pull the bike out. I want to do it on a flat surface over here. It's pretty flat over here in the garage. But I gotta warm the bike up a little bit so I get some good uh, moving, uh, you know, oil. So I'll stick the tailpipes, the exhaust out, start it up, warm it up. By the way, the reason why I'm doing the oil change right now is I'm going on a saddle sore, 1,000 miles in 24 hours. Gonna visit mom and dad in Jupiter. Gonna start Jupiter, Florida, starting over here in New Jersey. And I'm waiting for a good time frame where there's like no significant rain on the way down the coast, the East Coast from New Jersey all the way down to Florida. And the maps and the forecasts are looking good for Sunday. So it's probably gonna be Sunday, three o'clock in the morning, gonna be on the bike heading south. Follow me then on Instagram and I'll be trying to post every once in a while. You can keep track of where I'm going. Let me start it up. Now, don't get all bent up. Every flat six that you start, when you start it cold, has a uh, initial oil being burnt because of the way the cylinders, uh, the pistons are laying down and there's oil sitting down in the combustion area. So even a Porsche, every flat six. So don't get all uh, excited. It's a, it's a well-known thing. smoke let me drop the choke let it warm up a little bit and then uh we'll let it sit down settle and open up the plugs okay the easy part opening up uh i'll find it very soon the plug the drain plug over here i'll find it then taking off these two covers that's where the oil fill is with the dipstick so i can check uh, how much oil i need to put in four ounces i'm going to be using 1040 that's what's advised the most complicated, and it's not really complicated, it's just I've never done it, is getting access to the oil filter, which is right there, you can see it. That means I need to take this piece of plastic off. It's got three screws, one over here. I'll get. I'll see it very soon. One in the middle, one on the other side. Once you take that out, that plastic comes off that fairing, then you can get access to that fuel, uh, fuel that oil filter. What do you mean by I said uh, fuel filter? Oil filter, I'm gonna be using Honda's recommended GM4. 1040, four quarts, almost four quarts go in. And I'm using a K&N filter. Why K&N? Because it's the best in the world. No, just because the guy that I bought the bike from 
had it and it's cheaper if I use what he gave me. No, but it's actually, I'm kidding. It's great filter and it's got a little, a little, uh, like a little bolt like, so you can fit a wrench on top, on the top. And it's also a great filter. Should be easy. And then we'll check the brake pads. Brake pads a little bit more complicated. Nothing complicated, a little bit more time consuming because the Goldwing pretty much is filled with, it's covered with fairings, plastics all over the place. So only to get to the brakes in the back, you pretty much need to take this whole side, side bag, lift side bag off. And it's like five different bolts taking off lights, but we'll get to it. My dog wants to go in. Wait a minute, Pico. Yeah, it's just going crazy. He can't pee, he can't take a, a shit. What's up? You like it? Finally got five minutes of, of a recess from the rain. Yes, yes, show us. Yes. <laughs> okay, go rest. Go rest in your little dog place. I'll go attend the bike. Anyway, now while I'm waiting the, uh, for the bike to cool down, let me show you what oil pan I'm using. Once, when I was uh, poor and cheap, I went to Harbor Freight and bought a, an oil pan and I used it. I tried to slide it into the Harley. It's good, but the problem is Harleys are usually very low. So once you slide that bulky oil pan in, you got no room to work below it. Harley has maybe more expensive, but has a low, very low profile oil pan, which it's great actually. A little bit more expensive, but you slide it in and it gives you, look how much extra room you have. So you got so much room to work on your bolt down here. So I use the oil, the Harley oil pen. And I'm not sponsored by Harley, unfortunately. I mean, if they want to sponsor me, I'd love to hear from them. <laughs> oh yeah, I am wearing their hat. You see, their beanie. By the way, I have beautiful beanies as well. I'll show you very soon. I'll go put it on. See? Now try that. Look at this one. This is the this is the holy shift one and this one is in light gray i have this in gray like this kind of gray and in black and also in blue really cool which is nicer this is like makes me look like santa claus a little bit because it's gray light gray and my white beard anyway i think it's cooled down already let me grab uh the metric wrench figure it out there is a drain bolt right here all right it's there's right here. And let me tell you, as always, I don't know why they fucking tighten it so tight. There's absolutely no need for it. I had to literally use a breaker to get it open. It's a 17 mil socket. So now let's drain that, open it up and let it drain. Should be the, the easier part now. This is it right here. Yeah. Open my Harley. Harley drain. Oh my God. They close it like there's, okay, ready, set, probably get it all. There we go. Almost. I got, yeah, I did get it. Let it drain. Let it drain. Always make sure the fucking plugs are open. Otherwise it's going to overflow. Shit. Like it just did. See, I'm such an idiot. Forgot to open up or at least relieve some pressure. And it, it literally filled up and air wasn't going out. So it overflowed. And all too late, I opened up the, the plugs. So you need to open up the plug over there. So air goes out. Stupid, stupid me. Well, a lot of other cleanup to go. Now let's... So we get better flow, open up uh, the dipstick area, take off these plastics, one and two. Get two grommets over here, and this just pulls out, just like that. One, two, three, and the grommet over here. Now this one just pulls out, and then you get access to the oil fill. And you got some acorns open up so you get some air flowing in and over here the dipstick now they always tell you to, to inspect the plug well nothing there like to see if there's shreds or anything but come on it's a it's not a harley it's a honda <laughs> no just kidding 
They're not shredded. This this uh this bike is 40,000, 43,000 miles broken in engine. I don't expect to find any shreds or anything. So this is clean, nice and clean. Check the washer itself. It's an aluminum washer. If it looks good, you can reuse it. And that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna reuse it. I'm not bashing anybody. I'm just kidding. I obviously, I, I love old bikes. I have a Harley. I have a Royal Enfield and I have this this Goldwing. So I love all bikes. Anything that burns gas, makes smell, vibrates and goes forward and backwards, reverse sometimes. I like, looks good. It's going back in. Okay, while I'm at it and I'm waiting the oil to drain completely, might as well take the fairing off and replace the filter. Do you see over here? It's right here, I'm putting close up. It's a Phillips head, a screw, same thing on the other side. There's also uh, another screw. Three screws, take them out pull the plastic out and then expose this filter. There it is. It's out. Little silly screw. Now I'll go to the one in the center. Right here, taking a smaller, small. Can I see what I'm doing? Absolutely not. It's just pure guesswork. I'm feeling it just like a proctologist. Can you see anything? Nope. He's just feeling. <laughs> Here it is. There's the center one, the middle one. Let me go the other side. This one's out as well. This needs to come out as well. This plastic fairing just pulled out, I guess, hopefully. Ta-da! The access to the oil filter right there. Well, you do need some luck every once in a while over here. I could not find, oh, I found this plastic. What is this? Oh, this is part of the fairing that holds this part. I didn't find the special wrench, so I can use a channel, channel grip, or in this case, like I said, I was lucky. I just literally took it out. It wasn't tightened too hard, so that's good. More oil coming out, which is good. Cleaning up all the khaki to accommodate the new, new and improved K&N filter. Fill it up with oil. The only reason why you really want to fill up a, a new filter, an oil filter with oil, is of course the initial start when you crank the engine for the first time. It takes a while till the oil pressure, the oil pressure is built up through the oil pump until it gets to the filter, the filter is empty. Meanwhile, the pistons are, are cranking and moving up and down, not, not being uh, oiled at all. So that's why you wanna have the oil filter filled so there's not many cranks till oil is uh, shot up into the ports wherever the engine is, uh, is being uh, oiled. k &N, fill it up halfway or maybe full and then flip it in place. Nice. It's actually even oiled a little bit. Look at that. Look at that. Look at them. They actually, from the factory, go know how, go figure how many years this has been in the air, and it's oiled already. The seal, yeah? Obviously. The only thing is, uh, when you put it in place, it might spill. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Got it in. Hand tight. <laughs> That's it, no, no need for more than that. Fill up some oil. They say around four quarts, just a little bit below four quarts. But I'm gonna put three in, start it up, dipstick it, see levels, let it rest. Obviously, you know all the, sh all the things. Let it settle, oil comes down all the way down to the sump, to the uh, pan, oil pan, then that you drop the dipstick in, check levels, and do it again until you're happy. <laughs> nope, <laughs> let's try this guy. Any better, nah, this guy looks much better. Yeah, much better, right? Let me just clean it before I stick it in there. Clean it before you stick it in? Like that's what she said? <laughs> stupid, stupid jokes. Four stroke motor oil, Honda, suggests a 1040. I'm not sure if, I don't think it's synthetic, but that's what the previous owner used. I'm not gonna give the bike any shock. I'm just gonna keep using this one. Let's go three quarts. Oh shit, I never put the plug in. Oh my God, I'm so stupid. 
Obviously, remember to put the plug, the oil plug in first <laughs> before you put it in oil. I couldn't understand why, why it was going in so easy. <laughs> yeah, put the oil plug in first, tighten it, and then put the oil. You see, that's me. I just show you the way it is. I made a mistake, and uh, just make sure not to make that mistake. Make sure you put the filter in, make sure, sure you put the oil plug in, and only then fill up the oil. Shit happens also to me. Now that the oil plug is in, let's continue filling up. Number two. Number three. Oil capacity. After oil filter change, 3.7 liters or 3.9 US quart. I'm gonna go another half. That's it, I got a, a little bit over three and a half quart. Then I'm gonna start it up, not close the other fairing yet. See if there are any leaks. Fill it up to the proper gauge on the dipstick. A standard dipstick. Let it idle a little bit, then turn it off. Let it rest for five minutes. Okay, let it uh, rest for five minutes for now. Let me check the brake pads. Yesterday, actually, um, this is a just, I'm, I'm putting on a show for you because yesterday I actually did this. But let me show you what I checked yesterday. Uh, I was literally looking at the brake pads to see the, the thickness. I don't know, can you see over here? Right there, hopefully I'm able. But yesterday what I did is I took my phone. I took my phone and I took a video of it and then I uh, checked it. The brake pads look pretty good. They got enough meat on them. And I did the same thing for the back. So see if I can find on my phone the video from yesterday because otherwise you have to take the whole uh, left side saddlebag off and to see, where is it? I don't know if you can see from here. I'll try to get it with this or with the phone, video that I took my phone. What I pretty much saw is that I have enough meat. Like it's the, the pads, the brake pads will look very good. There was one last thing, the tires, but that's for a different video. Okay, I was missing a little bit more. I pretty much filled up almost everything, just, just a little bit left. And it's at the right level. I'm gonna close the fairings and in the front and clean up the mess. Clean up this disgusting mess. Boy, that was a sloppy job today. No need. It was really didn't need to be that sloppy, but you know what? It happens. A uh, few things we learned today. First of all, oil change is actually very easy on this bike. Second thing is take the vents out of that oil pan and make sure to put the oil plug back in before you fill up oil. Last thing, people tend to over tighten that oil plug. No need for that. It's like there's actually a torque spec for that. I'm sure that whoever did this before me didn't do the torque spec. It doesn't need to be that tight. As long as it's not leaking at the end, you're good. That's it guys, it was easy and messy. Stay here after my uh, outro to see the mess that I just created over here. I'm Sandy, you're watching Holy Shift, guys. Till the next video, peace out. What a big mess. What a huge mess. I mean, if I had some dry sand, I'll put dry sand, but everything is completely wet outside. Yet I, got, I guess I gotta waste shop towels. Anybody have an idea? Clean up so much oil and shit from the garage. Yeah, you know, probably don't do it in the first place.